I'm under the impression that we've never played in Sacramento before. We have when? 1967. Yes. With Herman's Hermits. Well, I can tell you that the people in San Francisco are fucked off. It's great to be
with what little hearing we have left, we're always listening. Excerpts from Tommy, of course. With uh, this fabulous orchestra that we have with us evening. This is, uh, I always say this, you know, we're lucky to have them, but you know, they belong to you. They're your orchestra. These guys are all within driving distance of where we are tonight in the outback of San Cravento. You know what was interesting is flying in, I flew from, down from LA because I met my wife there a couple of days ago. And um, is you've got fields with stuff growing in it. This next one's for you.
people forget and forget their hiding. The girls smile. People forget. Snow packs, skier tracks. We forget we're hiding. going to say artists. Like so many bands, musicians and artists, uh, the lockdown affected us, affected you, and the main way it affected us was that we had to stay apart. There wasn't a choice. And um, it's really strange, you know, when you choose to do something, you choose to go and hike up in the mountains on your own, fine, you can do it. But when you're told you can't go out, you can't do anything. But when you're told you can't perform, it's kind of weird, you know, because most Who fans will know that performing is not the most important thing in my life. It's writing music, which I love the most. But 
Performing with Roger is something I've been doing now. I think the other day I realized I've been doing it for 60 years. Maybe, maybe even a, a couple of weeks longer than that. Anyway, in 2019, we put an album together called Who? Who? And um, it came out and then lockdown hit, but we managed to squeeze in our tour. And thanks to people like you who bought tickets, um, we got a pretty high entry and we did okay. This is a song from that album, which is called Ball and Chain.
The orchestra get here very early. They have to rehearse the whole show, so they have a long day. And uh, they also have a union. So essentially, they're all fucking communists. Just for that, they have to play. Anyway, the whether they had a union or not, we would let them have some time off. So they're taking a break now. They do have a fantastically long day. And we're going to do a few songs which are just what's different about them. They don't have an orchestra. <laughs> you bet, you bet, you bet.
If I'm making some grumpy faces, I, just every now and again on the stage, I use this guitar all the time. Sometimes it sounds absolutely fabulous. And tonight, I think it needs to go to another place. Anyway, I need a really good instrument to do the next song. It's fucking hard to play. <laughs>
a little ditty from Lila Leeds. Uh, kind of happened with a jam. Pete started the chords and the, the, the lyrics, and it evolved. It's still evolving. There's nothing's the same as it seems. When you look with a naked eye. Take a little dope for calc in the air. The stars are all connected to the brain. Buy me a woman and lay down on the ground. A pleasure comes falling down like rain. Get myself a car. Feel power as I fly Oh, now I'm really in control It all looks fine When you look through the naked eye But it don't really happen that way at all Don't happen that way at all Sign mine, they're both the same, but we still get separate rooms. You can cover up your cuts, but when you cover up your nuts, you're a team that there must be something wrong. Press any button, milk and honey flow. we 
Anybody read any good news lately? It ain't easy, is it? <laughs> what is it about news? They don't like good news in print or on the TV. It has to be all bad, all negative. But, you know, tricky days, they come and they go. They go all through your life, all you young people here tonight. You'll notice that you get the low periods and you get the up periods. Thank God we do, because if we just had it up all the time, we'd be dead by the age of 20. <laughs> so anyway, this is a, a number from uh, 1979, which was a really tricky time for the United Kingdom. The country was broke. <laughs> Nothing's changed. <laughs> Nothing's changed. Print more money. <laughs> it's just another tricky day. You 
Some people write songs about, well, most people, don't they? They write songs about falling in love. Or if they're Bob Dylan, some terrible injustice that's been done to some poor guy back in 1958. <laughs> and, um, but I've always written songs about other things. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what the theme is, but another tricky day. What the fuck am I talking about? I don't know. Roger explained it very well. I think he explains it very well. That thing about we expect life to deliver us a sort of a neat package, you know? And we make our own package. We do it ourselves, really. And um, sometimes it comes out really, really well, and sometimes it doesn't. And then occasionally you get really angry, like I did with this song that's coming up, and, you know, it's upside down. I wasn't angry with the things that people thought I was angry with. And, uh, well, the whole band. We were not an angry band. We had a lot of fucking fun. <laughs>
to uh, introduce to you the leader of our orchestra and lead violinist, librarian, Miss Katie Jacoby. And on my left, wonderful, wonderful cellist from Chicago, Ori Schneider. And someone who blew up on the beach somewhere, with a very big instrument. It had five strings. It's a contrabass. Randy Landau. needs to be louder, sorry. We'll do that again. Oh, that was a very short song, but we can do shorter ones. No one knows what 
what it's like to be the bad man, to be the sad man. Behind blue eyes, no one knows what it's like to be hated, to be faded, to tell him only lies. But my dreams, the arm is empty. Cause my conscience seems to be. I have hours only lonely. My love is vengeance that's never free. No one knows what it's like to feel these feelings like I do. And I blame you. No one bites back his heart on their anger. None of my people can show through. Dreams, they are as empty as my conscience seems to be. I have hours only lonely. My love is vengeance that's never free. So the orchestra is back with us, thank you. They're gonna help us put together a good solid chunk of Quadrophenia. Now we 
This is me. 
Say, say, no. 
should I care? What should I care?
Thank you. Oh, you've been great. Thank you so much. Please, orchestra, take this opportunity to stand up and take a bow. Thank you. Please do. Thanks so much. It's probably not the kind of thing they play a lot of, but um, I hope they won't mind me saying, but they rock. They rock. Let me introduce the other members of the band. Katie Jacoby over there you've met, first violinist. Katie Jacoby. On the keyboards there, supplementing the orchestra with some extra bits and bobs. Emily Marshall. On backing vocals there, somebody who's travelled with The Who over the years many, many times. Good friend of both Roger and I, and somebody that's worked with Roger and I. Great songwriter. Here we just have him because we love him and he sings well. What a fool. I mean, what a fool. <laughs> Billy Nichols! Next to him is our bass player and vocalist, John Button. In front of him is my brother, guitar player, singer, songwriter, Simon Townsend. And drums, Zach Stuckey. On keyboards and vocals, Lauren Gold. And sort of hidden away here in the background, you've, you've met Audrey Snyder on cello. And also, travelling with us, we have three musicians travelling with us to kind of give the, the orchestra some kind of body. And on bass, we have Randy Landau. It's the time of the day when I really, you know, have to introduce the man who really, really thinks he holds all this together. <laughs> Keith Levinson, music director. <laughs> and we love you, thanks very much.
thank you so much for coming tonight. And the one person we have to thank most of all for all being here is the man who wrote the music, Pete Townsend! Before he says anything else on this tour, Roger hasn't been sick once. He hasn't sung a bum note once, maybe a couple of croaks here and there. Roger's been singing so great. We're all old men now, but fucking hell, you're singing so great. Roger Daltrey! And it's a lot of work, I can tell you. <laughs> Singing is a joy. You can start your day with a song, you'll all get through the shit. <laughs> a piece of cake. <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much for coming. Uh, it, we know it's difficult times, but like I said earlier, it will get better and you will make it better. Be happy, be healthy, think lucky and be lucky. Good night. <laughs>